Yeah, we knew it was going to be a tough game. We knew it was going to be muddy. We just had the mindset to never give up, keep playing together on all three phases. I mean, that's the way we like it. We don't want nothing easy. We want it gritty. We want it dirty. And, um, you know, that's the mount- mentality we got to have. You know, I mean, my main focus is just finishing, you know, each and every drive on all three phases. You know, don't give up on each other. You know, believe, you know, communicate, you know, while we're out there, what we're seeing, so we make adjustments as a team. You know, just keep keep thriving, keep striving, and, um, you know, finishing the game. A lot of people, lot of people might be surprised at this result. What was the team's mindset coming in and what's it feeling like walking out of here? What was our mindset as far as coming into this game? Right, yeah, a lot of people have probably considered this an upset. What, what, what was your thoughts coming into this one, and what's it feel like leaving here with the win? I mean, us just playing Titans football. I mean, being good, uh, being great on all three phases, I think that was our main focus. You know, we knew what type of game this was going to be. We knew we were coming in a hostile environment. We knew they were distant between or a different team in the playoffs. But we just had to play our game. Don't worry about the outside, no, just focus on what we need to do. I think we just want to put efficient drives together, you know, and um, everybody just do their job, beat the man in front of you, be physical. And I think that's what we try to do as we're moving, up, as we're moving the ball down the field. Sorry about that. What role did, uh, did Mike play, to having, you know, having known this program so well, having been here? What kind of a role? Is, I mean, other than the obvious, uh, just in terms of the team mindset coming in here to this place. I think the main thing he would just message was just we all know the obvious. We know, we know what type of uh, organization this is. Focus on what we need to do. Focus on how we need to play, and then let everything else take care of itself. I mean, um, I mean, my approach is always the same against any defense, you know. And um, they've been doing a great job all year, so I know I just had to go out there and do my job at the best of my ability and just be efficient, you know. But it's, it's going to take all eleven of us. I love seeing the fans, man. You know, you know they're always passionate. You know, for them to travel, you know, have that much, you know, that much passion, and you know them screaming. You know, it's always a great connection with the fans. You know, to come out and support us, so we definitely appreciate it. How's this as a birthday present? Oh yeah, it's great. You know, when, um, I really want to focus on my birthday, but it's a great win as a team. You know, so, um, you know, happy to advance. Yeah. Uh, I, I just said that uh, during during camp, you know, at the end of camp, I was saying, why not us? You know, I don't think nobody expects nothing from us. Keep that underdog mentality, but just stay hungry, you know, and um, you know, just keep believing in each other, you know, because all of us in that building, all of us together, we the one got to make it happen. No matter what anybody writes, what anybody says, we the one got to go out there and do it each and every day, you know, each practice, each play, and um, you know. They just keep believing in each other. Like I, like I told them, you know, why not us? Why, why we can't do it, you know? So, you know, that's what we're going to keep, that same mentality to keep working. I would probably say, bro, this is your biggest accomplishment. If you had the opportunity to say something to your grandmother, what would you say to her after this? After this uh, I would say thank you, and I love her. I just want to hug her, you know. And um, I appreciate you, you know, with that story you put out. Man, and, um, you know, just, you know, it's undescribable, man. If I could, if I could see it right now and tell him what I'll do. What were you thinking when you saw Logan take that back and kind of finish it? I was happy as hell, man, because he could have had one, you know, earlier in the game, and he got that one. And I was just happy for him to be able to get one to end the game off the way he did. Last one. How tough of a challenge do you guys face now in Baltimore? Um, you know, uh, we're gonna enjoy this one. Obviously, we know who Baltimore is. You know what type of team they is, and um, you're ready for them uh, tomorrow. So. You know exactly what we face, we know what type of team they are, number one team in, in the division, so I mean it's self explanatory.